Welcome to episode 31 of Vampire Survivors like game in Unity. Persistent Upgrades Part 1. Today we want to introduce Persistent Upgrades, which will allow us to purchase upgrades for our player character, which persists between each gaming session. Open the main menu scene. Here let's make the amount of the coins we have acquired clearly visible. So make the text on the screen. Create another new script called CoinText. Open newly created script. Inside reference the data container. Data containers store personalized information about game progress, like the amount of coins collected over the course of the game. And then in the update, read the quantity of coins and post it on the text object. And to be able to interact with text component, we need to cache it in the start. Let's check this. Reference the data container and launch the game. As you can see, the coins text will show how much coins you have based on the coins count in data container. This episode is brought to you by generous support to people on Patreon and members on YouTube. If you want to join them, link to my Patreon in the description and join button available right now on YouTube. If you join at $10 or more, you will get access to project files on Patreon. Good, with that out of the way, we want to introduce upgrades. And first, let's make the store for upgrades, where you can spend your coins to buy upgrades. Create panel called Upgrade Panel. Set the size of the panel. Now we need to make it possible to close and open the panel for upgrade store. So make a button which will close the panel of the store after being pressed. In the menu, make a button to open the store panel. This should make it possible to open and close the store panel. Good. Now in the panel we want to make it possible to buy upgrades. Open the data container. Here we want to define list of possible upgrades to purchase. Let's make two upgrades for now, HP and damage. So create an enum called Persistent Upgrades. Inside create two values, HP and Damage.
To store the state of upgrades, create a class called upgrades. Make it serializable. Inside declare public fields for persistent upgrade enum to set what this upgrade is, level of upgrade and cost to upgrade. Inside the data container declare upgrade list to store state of all the upgrades your character have. Let's rename them to avoid confusion with item upgrades. Call upgrades class explicitly as player upgrades and enum as player persistent upgrades. In the editor, create two elements in the upgrade list. Set them to be HP and damage and cost of both to be 100. Good, now we need to create a simple UI element which will allow us to uh, see the state of the player upgrades and upgrade them. You know, so you can select the upgrade you want to upgrade and you click some kind of button and the level goes up, that kind of deal. Create a panel. Let's anchor it to the top left of the store panel. Inside the panel, create text object for name of the upgrade. Level of the upgrade. price of the upgrade and button to upgrade the item. Create another new component called player upgrade UI element which will manage the player upgrade on the screen. Things like setting text and setting up the level or price. And keeping it updated and communicating intent of the player to upgrade the selected upgrade. Inside create serialized field for what this upgrade is. Three text objects for upgrade name, level and price.
and data container. So then we want to update states of those text fields of the screen. So now we can get the player upgrade from the list of player upgrades on the data container. And to get the specific upgrade from that list, we can use an enum. If you order your upgrades inside the list in the same order as you ordered your upgrades in the enum, you can use enum to get the upgrades from that list by doing this. Then using this data, set the text fields. In the editor, set the fields. Call update element on the start. So on the start of the game, this element will set itself. So we set up how our element should look like. Now we want to give player ability to upgrade the selected upgrade. Create a public method called upgrade. Inside get the player upgrade from the data container. And then check if your player have more coins than the cost of the upgrade. If player have more coins, then player can afford this upgrade and we need to detract the amount of coins from the player balance and increase the level of upgrade by one. Then to update the element state on the screen, to reflect the changes, call update element. This is it. Oh wait. We need to call upgrade from the UI element. Yes, as you can see, every time I click upgrade, if I have enough coins, the level of the upgrade will go up and you will slowly lose the coins to pay for the upgrades. Good, and by just duplicating the upgrade UI element and setting the upgrade element to be damage upgrade, we will have a functioning second upgrade for damage. If you get an error, make sure you have two upgrades in your data container. Good. In next episode, we will apply those upgrades to the player in the gameplay and make this system to be more modular and easy to expand. This is it for this episode. Special thank you to Stormbreaker9000 and the Salt Hashdo. See you in the next episode.